Chloe Sloan and what we're going to be doing today is showing you how to make your own flower dough and if I just show you the bow tip here and these were sort of quite a craze during the Victorian times and we were thinking about people who might not have a garden, might not be able to get out to their garden, might want something nice and bright and cheery and we're thinking you can maybe make these either as a gift for somebody um, or just have in your house to brighten up. Um, we've been thinking about flowers a lot because we had an exhibition on called Cornish Springtime and we're thinking about Cornwall's violets and its daffodils and you can see here we've got a painting that shows our Cornish flower sailor. So what you need to do is again to just raid your house for things that you might have in your recycling. So look for any nice magazines. I've got a kind of Garner's World one here with um, some nice flowers. And I'm sure you've all been building up your plastic. Um, I've got these. These are going to act as my little glass dome. And then just look for other things. Bits of coloured paper. I've got um, fairy cake casings here or little casings from when you've had like tarts. Um, and I've got some sticks here. Lollipop sticks. You can colour them in. And bits of paper straws. Um, and then I've also got some fabric. Because I thought these would all be good for making my own flowers. So the first thing to do is find a bit of stiff card and chop it to the right size of your base. So I've got one here um, that I've chopped. Um, and what you can do is if you want a plain bottom, you can have a really plain bottom on your flower base. Or I've cut out um, a nice picture from a magazine of flowers. So I'm going to stick that in the bottom of my and I've got two sizes here of domes because I figure the higher one's going to be a little bit easier um, and this is going to be easier for smaller flowers. So to make flowers, you don't need to be that precise. So if you get a little lollipop stick, well not a lollipop stick, it's a straw, this is going to be my base. There's a couple of ways you can do it. You can just get scraps of fabric. You might have been going through your wardrobe, so you might have clothes you want to recycle. Um, and as all the recycling stuff shut just now, this is quite a good way. And you can just grab it. You can see I might even cut it in a nice circle. And then pop it around your lollipop stick. I've not got a lollipop stick, it's a straw. There we go. That looks like a little fiber. And you can uh, take it. Just wrap it around. nice and easy and then if you want to make it a little bit prettier if you like you could even get some wool and um, it would probably have been sensible if I got green wool but I don't have green wool so these are my imaginary flowers so it doesn't really matter and I'm going to wrap that round one version. How cute is the wind flower? It looks nice and has a little brooch as well. Um, and I would just be popping it here on my picture. And again, you could either, if you've got Play-Doh at home, I don't have any left um, here at the museum, you could pop it in a ball of Play-Doh or you could just get some tape, some sticky tape um, and secure it that way. And then they're nice and easy. So then I thought I'd show you how to do one with um, cases from your um, fairy cakes. This is going to be a bit of a grander flower. It's quite nice and shiny. And again, you could just get another straw. They seem to work quite well. I'll make this a taller one. Um, and don't worry too much. You can just kind of scruffle it round because these things end up looking really beautiful. Anyway, so wrap it round and think about daffodils and flowers that you see um, and what you could do is you could even um, colour that in but that looks a bit like a daffodil there we go sort of finished it there because if you think daffodils have that trumpet we've got one here you get your trumpet and if you wanted to be more accurate for a daffodil you could cut these to 
make it more like a petal on the outside. And then I've got my trusty tape handily on a tape dispenser this week so I don't throw it on the floor, especially as I'm upstairs in the museum and it's a sloping floor and I just visions of it crashing down. And then I have I'm so wishing I brought up um, blue tack for securing this. I feel under quite a lot of pressure to get this to stand. There we go. And then I've got my next one. So you can see, you can just keep building up flowers um, for your design. And then the last one I thought I'd show you is just bits of paper. Um, you can cut petal shapes, obviously this is going to be a bit of a jumbled flower, but you might have a bigger dome. Um, and don't really worry, petals are very forgiving, you can cut all sorts of shapes. Here's one here, sort of jaggy, one like a teardrop. Um, and you can just build them up, I'll build this one up, give me a little blue flower. And then, um, I've got one that's more jaggy in shape. If you just scrumple them, they tend to look much better than you would imagine. I build them up, and I'll put one a bit like a frond, I think that's the right word. Um, all you gardeners, if you're following us for National Gardening Week, will probably be shaking your head in dismay at my inaccurate gardening terminology. And then again, I can just take that. So just work away, get your flowers to look really pretty, um, secure them onto your base, so you can put that ring up or support there, it's a thought. And you can make them after real flowers if you like, or imaginary flowers. And then when you're done, you get your dome. Oh no, my dome's a bit small, so I'm just going to destroy it a bit and pop it on the top. <laughs> Rookie mistake there, when you make your dome, measure it. Um, but it still looks quite cute. So you can get... <laughs> Look at my poor desk, dome. <laughs> you can make a much better creation than me and you can measure and use your ruler. Um, but we thought it would be a fun gift to make for people. And then... You can deliver it to a neighbour who's going to obviously love what you've made. And then they can always destroy it, turn it into a little brooch. And I think that would look glorious as well. So thank you so much for joining us on this week's Museum Makes. Um, inspired, as I say, by our Victorian flower dome and thinking about all things gardening. And we will be with you next week where we are turning our mind to floridine. Um, which has been sadly cancelled this year. But we'll be looking at our Florida collection and also making our own petals. So hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye.